Toby's in Orlando. Lucky old Toby. His parents won't pay school holiday prices. But she could have got a caravan in Wales. So no one can know. Well, you know. Teachers don't. They think he's bad with tonsillitis. Well, they're going to know on Monday when he walks back in the colour of a cheesy what's it. Put out a bog roll. The Victorians use newspaper. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not Victorian. Right, I need to go. I love you all. You've not forgot about Carissy's doctor's appointment, have you? Of course. No, let me know how you get on. Um, yeah, and I need to speak to you now. You phone? I volunteered for this deep clean, remember? Extra dosh for his Lordship's summer club. Wow, what's up? Don't matter. Right, try not to miss me too much. Bye. Bye. I didn't have any olive branches at the corner shop. Soz. Is he still in his pit? Thought he was with you guys, is he not? Well, I crashed at Dev's. Well, so you can't be sure? Well, I crashed at our jammers. It's like musical beds in there. Pound to a penny is in my room, squashed against the wall while Bryn does his starfish. No, I, I did text Gemma to ask. It was all I could do to stop spinning out and phoning the hospitals. <laughs> Billy, when you were growing up, did your mum and dad not fight? Yeah, they fought. So shouting, throwing, slamming doors. Yeah, that was on the good days. So you don't like people? Conflict. No. OK. Well, what you've got to realise, when our Paul flounces out, well, spits his dummy, goes ape, no offence to apes, as a moment, that that's all it is, a moment. You've not got to take it personal. We were in the wrong. You and me both are forcing our beliefs onto him. I know. I know, and I feel bad, and I hate it when I feel bad. It makes me proper narky. But at least you've got the making up. Best part of breaking up. Yeah, in, in any normal relationship, but... I was just normal. Not anymore. Change your number, you rubbing scumbag! Listen, Peter, the only thing we miss about you are your ironing skills, all right? All right, I'll speak to you tomorrow then. Love you, don't drown, will ya? And they say romance is dead, eh? He said to say, good luck for your first shift. Is that my bistro t shirt? It is, and look at that crease, you could slice a lemon on it. Worthy of petty officer ball, that. If you're gonna do it, you do it in style, don't you? What time's your first shift? Um, it's only it's only one till four. Yeah. Nick keeps calling it my soft return. Soft return, does he? Yeah. Oh well, quite right. Ease yourself back in gently. You a bit nervous, or do you mind if I come down later? Or just casual like. Just casual like. I never make the headlines one of these days. If only. <laughs> I think you wanted, love. If you lost your key again. Where have you been? The market, while the kids are at nursery. Don't you ever answer your phone? What is this? 20 questions. Well, Billy's going spare. Your brother didn't come back last night. He's still not back? No. I did text you. Yeah, so did I. Let's hope he's not lying dead in a ditch. Don't say that. 
I'm gonna have to ring around the hospital. Oh, don't bother. Unless you are borrow a defibrillator. Looks like I need to jump start. Right, before you say anything, I'm hanging. I need a bacon butty and a couple of paracetamol. I'm sorry. I'm the one who should be sorry. Yeah, me, me and Al. Yeah, you know, she hates apologising. Right, how about we go to Roy's and get that butty? Or better still, air of the dog in the Rovers. <sighs> I'm a divvy. I lost track of time doing shots. I had to sleep on a mate's sofa. Oh, yeah? Which mate? As long as you're safe and you're still speaking to us. No, nothing for me, Tar. Stuff to do. <laughs> 